What and how is macrobiotic run, man? It's all organic. It's all organic. Most of the stuff I used to get was from a, a um, I used to go to the health food shops that were just starting out then, and they had this company called Lima, that was a Belgium company, and they introduced buckwheat and um, organic arrowroot and um, miso and um, everything was organic, you know, and and they introduced a macrobiotic diet that was revitalised by a man called George Oshawa. It's a 2,000 year old Japanese diet which is totally free of chemicals, has no chemicals in it whatsoever. And I found miso give me more strength than meat ever did. So I based my diet around miso. Everything had miso with it. it you know, not everything, but about 70% of what I ate was miso based. So, you know, and I was, I grew up as a very strong boy and, you know, I was really good at soccer and I was really strong at surfing and that. So I, 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 hadn't, I felt I had an edge on people, even though they were meat eaters, because I had this energy that I couldn't explain. But I could feel it from, from just by doing the right thing. You know, that's, you're getting paid back through nature, you know. And that's how, that's how the consciousness rises. The more you understand about nature, the more you understand about life, the more energy you receive because energy isn't something you can grab and say, that's mine. You have to receive it. It's a gift. It's given to you. It's not yours. How old were you when you went down this road, dude? I became vegetarian completely when I was 18. But um, it was a hard fight. It was, a, you know, because there wasn't many people around me. And I met one guy who was a vegetarian when I was working. And it's funny that they tell you that if you challenge something, if you really need something, there'll be somebody else who's experienced who can help you. You know, it always seems to be the way. So, you know, this guy helped me so much to become a vegetarian with the, the way he talked and the things he explained to me and what he ate. And Zig and Margie, the the guy that watched these, they were vegetarian they, and they I used to go to their place and they'd cook corn millet bread and, and buckwheat rissoles and oh, I was in heaven. I'd, I was eating all this food that had no animals in it and I was getting full and it was beautiful, you know. I think the vegans too plant-based. I think they should use a lot more grain, a lot more miso, a lot more, you know, um, other combatants that... We had a saying when I was young, the only thing you should eat is what can't run away from you, right? So there's so many things besides plants that you can eat. You know, there's fruit, there's lots of things, you know, like vegans do. Uh, and they're honey-minded, they talk about not wearing leather and all that sort of thing. For me, there'd still be leather if the whole world was vegetarian. There'd still be leather because animals exist and they die. We don't have to kill them for their leather, but we can use it when they die. So we can still make leather. Leather will, would go on in a vegetarian world and things like that. Maybe not so extravagant, but for shoes or whatever leather was needed for, it could be used, you know, as a commodity or, and they could come up with other products like they do with everything else. But uh, the macrobiotics was, a really good introduction into helping me become the smell of meat, the smell of all the things, the barbecues that I walked past where I lived in the National Park. Used to, it was hard for me, you know, it used to bring the desire back into my mind. But over the years, the smell fucking repugged me. <laughs> because I become so vegetarian, so free. I had, it's been 50 years since I've sat down, had a meal and had to sit there and let, the, let it pass because it was so heavy. It's so light, it goes straight through you and it's, it's not, you know, it doesn't take a long time to pass. It's so much more beneficial. And if you're good to nature, nature will be good to you, you know. That's how it works.
What is the most important aspect of eating food, man? Oh, yeah, well, the life force. If you pick food the day you eat it, the amount of life force that's in it, is it's still alive, it still has so much energy. Well, each day the energy dissipates until it rots and becomes not edible. So the newer you pick it, the bigger the life force and the more energy you get from it. So, you know, having your own garden and picking your own veggies is the ultimate because the life force you get through that food, is no, nothing can compare with it. It's a blood rush, like right. little kids get. It's me, Johnny. I'm home.